Okay, so this one is the main drag. This is a main drag, and there's a main drag right up here where Century is. And then this is on your way to, if you're going to J, you go that way. So Century is this way, J is that way. You can kind of hear the neighbor's music. There's a, there's a drive that goes here, and I think it's, it's called Beauchamp Park, if I'm not... No, it's the Anthony Anthony Pleasant Park, and it's like a football stadium, and there's lots of traffic that runs this way and lots of traffic that goes this way because this is the cut through going to J. Neighbor there, and then there's a neighbor right here, and then the unit itself is a little shaky. I think it's because it's old. The actual um, siding is not real super. Um, like a lot of the fit and finish is kind of shaky i guess is the best word i could use um i never like wood like a lot of wood in florida just because of the fact it has a lot of maintenance entailed to it and you can kind of see here the fit and finish of this siding is not super um again i this one is a little i mean if you can look up there on that corner there the fit and finisher is just not that good it just it's gonna it's good you're gonna have problems with it and i think the foundation has settled um over time so when you step in you kind of feel the floor slope off if you look the distance between here and here is kind of lower down this way and higher on this side uh you have like the living room area two bedrooms uh, the back porch, which of course has your washer dryer on it, a kitchen here, obviously. Regular size bedroom here, kind of neat. It does have, you know, it does have the the uh, new LED lighting. Uh, they didn't replace the panel for some reason. I'm not sure why they didn't, but they didn't. I guess they thought, well, I could reuse it because it's still good, but um, they have. I'm assuming they're going to put transitions in. Again, you really feel the floor slope that you kind of have a good, that's a, again, no transition here yet, but almost, they're not done. So it does look like they're still working. You have closet. This bathroom really wakes your brain up because you can see the floor go this way and then it goes, it goes that way. So the flooring's different. The ceiling comes down at an angle like that. So it's it's a it's six foot maybe here, right here across this line here. And then that's maybe the 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 one further back this way is gonna run maybe probably eight foot if seven something. Again, this one is just a little wonky. I would not recommend this one. I think you'd have a harder time on your resale value, and I just, I'm not 100% confident on its, you know, how great it is. I think it also is going to have to have window units because there's no registers anywhere. There's no vents. There's no anything in here. Uh, again, you've got a, got a weird transition right here. I'm sure they're going to do something with that, I would imagine. Ceiling again slopes down this way, six foot-ish right about there. And then, you know, back the ceiling going back this way is maybe eight foot, probably a little under. Little room here. Washer and dryer is going to go there. This door, they've cut it, had to cut it off because it obviously doesn't, doesn't fit. So when you try to open it, it stops because it rubs the floor. So you, it stops. I don't know if they're going to fix that, but you can tell the handle's way down, really low. Um, kind of stops right there. Again, this, this is a rough one. This one has an old shed back there. Nothing really to speak of there. And then it's, uh, here's that siding again, all over the place. Um, older roof on this part right here. Again, you can hear the traffic load here is pretty, pretty brutal. Um, this side, you can see how wide it is here and it kind of flares out, you know, so 
you know, something's not square. I think what's happened is the house itself has settled and then they put all this siding on and they put it on with the house being crooked. The other thing I don't see is an access to get underneath of it. So if you ever have to get in to underneath of the house, you'd have to take all the flooring out inside to get at it from the top. I'm not seeing any access, which is a problem because this is an off-grade house. So, I mean, there's enough here. I would not recommend this one. I would tell you to move on from this one. It's not a terrible house. It just, I'm just afraid you'd end up, you'd end up being sorry you bought it. It could be more like a money pit, I think, than something good for you. You can kind of see up there, that's kind of wonky. Um, this, is, this is all rotted off, looks like to me, because you can kind of see like if you get get this away, I can see that it's, I can see daylight going this way through. So that's all rotten. Anyway, um, I this one I would not recommend uh, as I almost fall in, fall into the, fall up the stairs here. Sorry about that. So I hope this helps you. Um, again, not terrible, just. I would not specifically recommend this one. I think it's it's got enough problems. It is neat on the inside because it's going to be pretty and all new and shiny, but it's still going to be an old house that somebody tried to fix up and probably should have started with the foundation leveling first, then fix it up. I would be a little more favorable to it, but even then, I mean, it's a two bedroom, one bath, with your access to your bath through a bedroom. And then that bathroom is on a sloped roof, which is not, makes it doesn't, it's not really tall enough. Anyway, I hope that, I hope this, uh, hope this gets you information. If you have questions, give me a call. Thanks, appreciate you. See you on the next one.